Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and in this video I want to give you some idea about what you can see in the night skies throughout the year. As I film this we're just into September so it's getting fairly late in the year and I see quite a lot of photographers online on social media that sort of thing and th these people chase the Milky Way a bit like me we, we, we go around the country and photograph the night skies and a lot of them seem to talk about this month being the last month of the year that you can photograph the Milky Way. I know what they're talking about but I want to try and explain to you they're actually talking about the brighter part of the Milky Way which we can see in our summer night skies. The first thing I'm going to say is that if you walk out of your house at night and you look up it doesn't matter what time of year you are looking at the Milky Way. Whether it's winter or summer if you go out into your garden and you've got a nice clear sky you can see the stars and you look up you're looking at the Milky Way. What these photographers are talking about they're actually talking about the narrow band of light which is actually the galactic plane of the Milky Way galaxy and it's in different positions at different times of the year. You need to think about it a bit like sort of two fried eggs back to back. On. So you've got like a, a flat disc and in the middle you have like a sort of bulge that would be like the you know the yolk of the egg in the middle because that's kind of what the Milky Way looks like if if you could see it from the out we can't see it from the outside but that with lots of other galaxies like the Andromeda galaxy I'll just show you a picture of the Andromeda galaxy it gives you some idea about what the Milky Way looks like it's a flattened disc like that with a kind of concentrated bulge towards the center and that's that bulge towards the center is what we get the chance to see in our summer night skies now the galactic core region of the Milky Way is actually fairly low from the UK we we don't get a very good view of it but I'm going to show you some pictures now just to give you an idea of what you can see and photograph throughout the year I'm just putting a picture up now which I shot in the middle of June in fact it was close to the solstice when I took this picture down in Dirtle Door it's one of my favorite pictures of Dirtle Door down in Dorset on the south coast. Now when I shot this picture it was probably about one o'clock in the morning. Down on the south coast at that time of year the sun was probably no more than about 16 degrees below the northern horizon and now the sun needs to be 18 degrees below the horizon for you to get perfect darkness. So you can actually see in this photograph that the sky is actually quite blue there's a bit of twilight in the sky there and that was on the south coast so you can imagine being further north at that time of year trying to photograph the Milky Way it would be quite hard work because the sun doesn't drop low enough particularly where I am up here in Blackpool the sun would not get to below about 13 degrees below the horizon so we'd have a difficult time to photograph this kind of picture up here and, and we've got too much light pollution up here anyway now there's another picture just taken just over the, the, the rock from, from there just over the arch on the other side similar kind of picture I think I took it on the next night as you can see we've got the galactic plane there and doesn't that look absolutely amazing we've got all those stars we've got this massive bulge here there's lots of structure and detail in there this is what the Milky Way chasers are talking about they're talking about that bulge there that center part of the galaxy the brightest part of the galaxy and this is what you can see in the summer night skies as long as you're somewhere dark enough to see it like where I was on the south coast and you've got the right time of the year okay so that was the summer Milky Way that's what the Milky Way chasers the photographers are all talking about but like I said everything you can see in the night sky is part of the Milky Way it doesn't go away in my mind there's no Milky Way season you can shoot it any time of the year okay so I'm now just going to show you another photograph and this one was taken six months later than the Dirtle Door photograph check this out okay so we're now looking at another photograph that I took looking roughly the same direction the same part of the sky except this was six months later 
we're now looking towards the familiar constellation of Orion. You might be familiar with Orion. This is what you see in the same direction of sky in the middle of winter as opposed to the summer. Now, can you tell straight away that just above Orion there, we've got a very faint kind of subtle glow. Now, this is what we refer to as the winter Milky Way, and it's a lot more subtle than the summer Milky Way. And the reason for that is because we're we're looking outside of the galaxy rather than into it. In the summer, we get a great view in towards the inner part of the galaxy, and that's why it looks so much more structured. And in the winter, we're looking the opposite way, and that's why the galaxy looks so much fainter. I'll just put another graphic on here now showing you the, the winter triangle. So now you can see the winter triangle, which is quite an easy asterism to see. An asterism is like a, a large shape in the sky that's made up of three different stars from different constellations the winter triangle there the, the the winter milky way runs right through the winter triangle which is very easy to see in the winter night skies now think about this as well do you know where the sun is when i took this picture i'll tell you where the sun is the sun is actually in the constellation of Sagittarius, which is where we were looking in the middle of summer. So we're not going to be able to get a picture of the summer Milky Way at this time of year because it's above the horizon during the day. So when you see the sun in, in low down in the winter, because the sun is low down in, in the winter, isn't it? The sun is actually in the constellation of Sagittarius in December. So that's why we have no chance of seeing that part of the sky because it's, uh, it's the middle of the day. Now think about it the other way around. Uh, when I took that picture in Dirdle Door of the Milky Way in June, the sun will have been in Gemini. Now Gemini, above Orion, high up there, above Orion, that's where the sun is in the middle of summer. So there you go. That, that just gives you some idea about the different parts of the sky, different parts of the Milky Way that you can see at different times of year. I'm going to have to do some more videos to try and elaborate on it a bit more. It's, it's kind of hard to explain just in a short video like this, but hopefully I've given you some kind of idea of what you can get in the summer and what you can get in the winter. But I will certainly do some more videos to try to explain what you can see and when. And anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I will see you again on the next one.